Detectives investigating the disappearance of six-year-old Kaisha Abrahams have been back at her family's unit in Sydney's west today. Forensic officers seized more evidence. Forensic investigators arrived here this afternoon. The Abrahams flat declared once again a crime scene. Armed with floor plans, they ripped up carpets, confiscated at least two internal doors and skirting boards and also a small mattress. Earlier, extraordinary allegations from a local man. Albert Lafaeli runs a market stall at Hebersham. He says two or three weekends ago he heard screams from a parked car. I thought he was giving his girlfriend a hiding. Until she came up out of the back seat, it was a little girl. The man says he believes the girl was Kaisha. It wasn't a smack on the bum. It was full force, backhands, punches, leaning over the back from the front seat to the back to give her a hiding. He says he recognised Kaisha from recent photographs. Kaisha was terrified and I, I won't ever forget the, the, her eyes, her fizzy hair, it's the same girl. Police are investigating but have a lot of questions, such as, given all the publicity, why didn't he recognise Kaisha earlier? The man says he told police last night, but that was news to investigators this morning, and local shopkeepers say... No, no, I didn't hear the girl, I didn't see anything, but Albert told me that.